Hello guys, welcome back to the Atlanta app. For today's video, we are going to show you how to make a restaurant food ordering website in Wix. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So you might be wondering how to exactly make a restaurant food ordering website here. Well, creating a website requires you to make uh, to make sure to install the appropriate uh, apps for this one. So that includes like menus, uh, delivery app directly from Wix here. But in this case, we're going to just start creating our website here. Now, I'm currently in my Wix account, so I have a bunch of websites here, but we want to start from scratch here. Let's go to the top right here. Let's go and click on create new site. And from here, let's go and choose the option here that says use Wix editor. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to specify a few things. So you have two options. So you could use the chat functionality here to basically set up your store or you could just set this up without chat. So in this case, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions if you use the set up without chat. Now, the great thing about Wix here is depending on what you enter here or what type of website you're building, it will give you different recommendations from that. So in this case, since we are creating a restaurant food ordering website, let's just say it is going to be a food delivery website. It's going to enter that. Here and from here, just go and choose food delivery service. So choose this one and click on continue. Now, from here, it's going to start preparing your dashboard, and also it's going to ask a few questions on what apps that you want to add. So, as you can see, our dashboard is already. So, first is going to be our business name. So, for example, I'm going to say this is going to be food delivery, and let's go and click on continue. Now from here, we want to specify the apps that we want to add. Now the thing with this one is depending on the apps or sorry, the title or the, our target. So what we entered before, like what I said, food delivery service, as you can see, it's going to pre-pick of the required apps for your store. So that includes restaurant menus, food orders. So you have the option to take orders on your side. I also have table reservations. So take diners book a table on your side. If you want to add this, you could go ahead and add that. But also you have bookings here, so let your clients schedule appointments on your site if you want to. Now there are going to be a lot more. Like for example, you have like Instagram feeds, blogs, uh, pri uh, videos, donation, music, a lot more if you want. But let's go ahead and just click on continue. On this one, we are going with the three options we have. Now from here, we have the option that says you're all set. Let's go and continue the dashboard. Now, the next thing that you want to do here is you want to make sure that you set up your Wix website here properly. That includes like setting up your online ordering, setting up your table reservations, set up your payment methods, and basically designing your site. Now, the first thing that I would recommend you try doing here is you want to design your site first. So in this case, it's going to be a design site. And you want to go ahead and just basically choose your template or if you want to create this with AI. So either choose one of them. So it's going to click on the pick a template here, cause my template. And from here, what we need to do is we want to choose a template that we want to use. So I have, or we have this one fast food restaurant. Let's go ahead and click on edit to use this one. And from here, it's going to start using that specific um, design into our Wix editor, our Wix website. Now, you want to go ahead and just basically start designing this. So there are going to be a lot of things that you could try doing here. The great thing about Wix is you can drag and drop elements. Uh, you could even like uh, customize them, like change the text if you want to. So yeah, I would recommend you to first uh, learn more about uh, how exactly to, uh, how exactly you want to uh, you can use the editor here for Wix, but obviously there are going to be a lot. So just uh, just give you some idea. So the text I already have here, you can just double click on them and just basically uh, type in whatever you want. Like you can even change the style he uh, styles here, uh, even font uh, font size. So it's quite similar to any other tool out there that allows you to change the text or uh, design your uh, uh, your text here. Now, the great thing about this one is applies to any other uh, element that you see here, like buttons. Now, you can also click on change text to change the text on it. You could also change the layout. You can also change the design here just in case, like change the color, uh, the shape of it. You can uh, choose one of the templates that you can see here, as you can see right now. It's going to adapt to that. So, yeah. So, you could also click on customize design to further customize it, like on hover or regular effects here and a lot more. Now, if you want to add like an element, like for example, at the left side, you have add elements here. It actually allows you to add text, images, buttons, strip, decorative, box, gallery, but a lot more. So obviously there are going to be a lot more. I would, uh, again, like I would recommend you to first explore uh, what you could do here. You know, even like add like 
templates here or temp templated sections here like if you want to add like a banner or a welcome strip here you can easy even like add an about section team section or even a contact here if you want to so yeah if you want to manage your pages at the dev side you have your pages here so like you go and click on it and you can basically start adding pages or menu items here the, the menu items are what you see in here so you have home menu ordering online contact reservations and a lot more you also have one member area card and thank you sign up and log in pages if you want to view them now if you want to change the overall design of your site go and click on the site teams or site design option which in this case obviously change the site team like the uh, color or default colors that you usually use on your site here so yeah so in this case it's going to go back into our setup since we've already added this by the way just click on save at the top right here to see if your changes just in case but once we've done that it's going to go done and let's go back in here now from here, just go and reload this since we made some changes into our site and our design site option should now become completed as you can see right now, design your site. Now you can go ahead and start creating your menu. So let's go and click on add item. And from here, as you can see, under catalog, you now have restaurant menus, which allows you to add your menu. So in this case, uh, you have one menu that you could use here. By the way, you could add multiple menus here. Let's go and click on edit menu details first, and you could add your menu name menu description and visibility if you want to mark this as draft also if you want to include an online ordering page here if you want and also if you could basically uh change the menu availability so based on my pickup delivery settings here so yeah just gonna click on save and you can also click on manage here if you want to manage the product included in your menu so we have appetizers if you want to edit them just click on edit and basically change the details for it labels a lot more i also have like modifiers and also ordering here if you want to make this in stock also i have like additional settings here if you want to accept like special request now if you want to add another section here so a section here is what you see here like a appetizer section a means section and a dessert section drinks now by the way you could change a few things on your actual section as you can see if you click on the sheet that option you can delete them if you want to you could even like delete all uh, the already existing um product here like you go and click on edit item delete item here or you can remove the section or even hide from your, your menu if you want to so yeah so you just start managing your menu here now you could also go to items here on the restaurant menus which in this case allows you to edit your items so instead of your menus you just go directly to your items and just basically uh added them via this way so there are going to be a lot here so you could go and click on the three dot option if you want to delete them or you could go and click on the edit button that you see here and same thing just update all the information that you want to update in here if you want to set the price uh per variant here you could go ahead and do that as well so yeah so now next is you want to set up uh, some of your online ordering here. Let's go and click on set up ordering. Now from here you want to go in and basically provide all the necessary information here. Like for example, the scheduling and availability here. Like the order scheduling here determine the choices the customers can make when scheduling their orders. They have pickup and delivery settings here. You can go and click on it and change a few things. Like for example, the address, pickup address here, the delivery here. The geographic area if you want to specify that and the delivery of partners here if you want to add that now obviously you can add like doordash drive here if you want to and but in this case you need to first register this one so you need to uh basically uh click on go to business info here and basically start adding them so go and click on this one and yeah so you just want to fill out the information here that you see also some short description and what category your logo you can upload your own image here just basically provide your location and contact info here in order for you to determine what uh the delivery partner that you could actually use in your area now let's go back one page here and we have or we are back we are back in pickup and delivery now in this case you want to go and just start setting up the other sections you see here like the uh, setup table reservations you can even uh, set up your payment methods here in order for you to uh basically uh start the or in order for you to start uh, receiving payments in your store but in this case that's about it so those are the basics that you need to know in order for you to get started here with uh your uh, creating your restaurant food ordering website but in this case that's about it hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe but till then up thank you for watching